need to run another operating system on your computer, whether you're testing software, running Linux on Windows, or experimenting with cybersecurity tools, virtualization is key. Two of the most popular tools are Hyper-V and VirtualBox. But which one is better? Let's break it down. Hyper-V. Hyper-V is built into Windows Pro and Enterprise, making it the best choice for Windows users. It's optimized for performance, works great with Windows Server, and also it is used in enterprise environments. But it is not available on Windows Home, and while it supports Linux, it's not as flexible as other options. Pros, it's fast and efficient for Windows VMs, and also it is built into Windows Pro and Enterprise, as well as it is great for business and ITUs as well. For the cons, and it's limited Mac OS and Linux support as well, so you won't have much of support for Mac OS and Linux. Next, VirtualBox. Well, it is a completely free open source option that runs on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It's great for beginners and works well for most general tasks. The downside? Performance isn't as strong as Hyper-V or VMware, making it less ideal for demanding workloads. When it comes to the pros, it's free and open source, and it is also a cross-platform working on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, and it is easy to set up and use. And what about the cons? It's slower than Hyper-V and VMware, and it's not the best for high-performance tasks. So which one should you choose? Use VirtualBox if you're a beginner, or running a mix of operating systems, or using Mac OS or Linux, or want an easy-to-use UI with lots of features and customizability. And use Hyper-V if you're a Windows Pro user and want fast performance, better integration with Windows, or you're setting up more production grade or enterprise style virtual environments. So which one do you use? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my other tech breakdowns. So see you in the next one.